Behold, the compact disc. But where did it come from? Meet James Russell, born in Washington in 1931. Talk about a smart kid. When James was six years old, he built a remote-controlled toy battleship. After he graduated from Reed College, he snagged a job as a physicist at General Electric. As one of GE's researchers, James conducted many groundbreaking experiments. For example, he built the first electron beam welder. Things were looking pretty good for James, but as his career progressed, a tiny problem kept nagging at him. As a lifelong fan of music, James had amassed a sizable record collection. But under the needle, records wore out so easily. They also didn't have the best sound quality. There had to be a better way. Enter the compact disc. James had a revolutionary idea. If physical contact wore out records, why not make a music format that didn't require physical contact? He reasoned that using light and darkness to represent data in a binary form could make the device work. And by 1970, he patented the first digital to optical recording system. It didn't catch on right away, but when it did, it took the world by storm. 